85. Are you going to be a dick like this? Till when? Concessions by Parliament, 2%. So, I think that is part of the Parliament. The state's influence is the power to yield in a country. A high level of influence will increase both the benefits provided by the loyal estate and the penalty suffered from a disloyal one. A state whose influence increases to more than 100% is at risk of seizing power to a nation. Like how, how much influence does it have to be in order to get away? Um, to get stuff away again. Hmm. I do want to increase my autonomy though. So, we're going to allow it for now. Strengthen the government 39. So, what it was that was being done is they were looking to rebels that wanted to lower the autonomy or increase the autonomy. And uh, accepting those, let us not convert Great Britain to that because I would be absolutely heartbroken by it. Okay, one more heavy and then we're ready. So, my mercenaries are over there. Let's get my other troops in. I can actually stand. Come on, an army of 50. That's that's not something. Get you over there. And we'll start moving the other ones over there. And who is going to be helping them? Uh, Lee H. Actually, that's not too bad. There's nothing over here, which just really... Uh, I'm very happy about that. So I can just easily have my guys over in this region. And let's see. Ah, oh, damn, there's some over here. I'd rather have my army. Yeah, okay, he can stand over here in, in, in something I can't pronounce. Okay, better leave it be. Yes, you can tax it, but usually that's not what we want to do. 80, 58, that's good. Are you making claims now, Marley? Okay, we can still just take course back, which is good. And you are starting, I guess, eventually to become Protestant. <laughs> Why not? Let's just, uh, let's make him disloyal like that. Why not? Okay, once my troops are over there as well. Let's take a look. This is so annoying. Why does this keep increasing? Mm, oh, really? Come on, is it really at 27? So 1627 refused the um, extending rights. I don't know when I can take this back. Probably after the next war though. Okay, that guy's out. So all of my trips are now here. Okay, we don't want the transport fleets in there. There's a light ship. Send you over there. The other ones, you're going to stay over there. 24. Come on, where's your 25th? Just hurry it up and get it. Okay, let's get all of our trend, uh, all of our light ships. But looks of it, he is still getting three of them. Okay, self-sustain. That's great. Let's send you over there. Send you over there as well. And we'll add them to our trade fleet so we don't lose ships like the last time. Sure, let's get let's get get that going. Um, we're in free war exhaust is low. Okay, we can get another colony going. Let's take let's take a look here. This one would be nice. It's close to this region, and of course we do need some drop off points, and this way we can start claiming in this region. And uh, we should get into this island as well so we can start against Ming. Okay, you're at 46. You are getting one more ship. 16. One more calf. That's 37. Um, 38. 39. 40. There you go. Military leader has left us. Damn you. Okay, so I do need our uh, generals in here. Let's take a look. Um, oh damn, F uh, 4 and 11, okay, it could be good, it could be good.
but it's not. <laughs> Damn you. Uh, let's take a look here. Military armies, friends. Uh, 67 right now. Manpower is a bit lower than us. I think we should deal with that. We should be able to deal. If we can... We, we got a, a 130 troops at its border right now. I know he knows what the hell will happen shortly. Okay, let's start building up spine network. And I should have done that just a tiny bit sooner. But it will start ticking, whatever. And we should actually focus on the fortresses. I want to focus in this region and just go to Liege. Peace him out. Are you still liking... You don't. Oh. Are you rivaling Flanders, Burgers and Liege? Interesting. Okay, so we're waiting for those few ships. Let's just group these guys up. Let's get my other fleet in there. You, get over there. You, get over here. So, how long till that one ship? Uh, it's just about to spawn right now. A galleon will be built here. Really? Don't know I ordered one, but uh, I guess it's fine. You go over there as well. You're going to be part of the trade fleet until after this war. So let's group them up. Protect trade, English channel. That should probably help it a tiny bit. Let's take a look here. 60% going up to... Yeah, 78 because, well, they're, they're slower. They're slower. And we still have to go to about... Uh, 85. Mm, income from vassals. Yes! <laughs> Let's go, guys. How are you doing? I'm Daily Fix. We are continuing with EU4 playing as uh, as England. Oh, now Great Britain. Um, doing the, the... How is the achievement called again? I've been typing it in my uh, in my titles for such a time now. Let's take a look. It is the Anglo Peel achievement. <laughs> We're not nearly there. Ah, damn. There's so much we need to do. So... Uh, we've been focusing pretty much on expansion, which, you know, it could be good, could be bad, not particularly sure yet. Um, let's see, we've got some money, manpower is going up. So, there is one thing that I want to do. So, right now, I... Could I handle this? Hmm... It is, especially like the colonies, that is a bit of the problem. I kind of want to handle this, especially like Sweden. Which is going to be somewhat problematic, uh, since we're already fighting it. So, if I want to do this, then I need to make sure that we got an army in here. Right now, the Swedish have 36,000 troops. So, it would be fair if I get about 50k up there. Um, taking a look at their allies, there's some over here, but this is the, the main uh, thing of it. What we want to do is break the alliance with Russia if we peace out the Swedish. That's what we want to do. Uh, we want to get this, uh, Gibraltar, that is, so we can get claims on Aragon for the islands. So then we can go to war with Aragon. And we want to get as much of his coastal regions as possible. But the main focus for us with Castile is getting these colonies under our belt. Um, there is a lot of units coming from the colonies. And it would be nice if we can take them away. Uh, also, in the future, a war with Portugal taking the Portuguese Alaska. And uh, it would be quite okay. I don't know why it's not up for grabs at the moment. Because I think... Is it being sieged down? Because it... No, it's at war. With Buta. I think it's... Where the hell is that? Take a look here. Who are you fighting? So you're fighting in here. Yeah, definitely a war with Castile would be... Very, very nice. Uh, Portugal, sorry. Uh, so we can actually get all of this... 
definitely I want Africa down here. Um, it's not part of a trade league, I think. No, actually it is. All of it is. So if we can take that, then that would actually be quite, quite nice. So we're still in this war. Our mercenaries are doing its thing. Our ally is just continuing. We don't necessarily have to pay attention to the Dutch wars because I think that we can actually handle those. Um, there is the Brandenburg War of Succession is now done. I don't know if we actually got something out of this. I don't think so. I don't think so. Dispute of Succession with Saxony, but that he will solve himself. Um, Bomithia, 44. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it is France and Austria. I really don't want to be in that war. I think we have plenty other things to do. Uh, right now, he is... What is the supply limit over there? I want you to go over there. Since we will be fighting Castile, we might as well have our troops in there. Fighting that main army. Might be a bit risky though. Might be a bit risky. But... I guess we'll find out how that will go. Um, as for you, I need you to stop drilling. And I want you to go over there. With the fleets. Uh, what fleet are we using? The one that's over there. 51 transport ships. So why the hell not? Uh, we got these 27,000 troops just uh, going over here. I do want to get started in this war. Because we actually do need some territory. Uh, we're just building colonies here now. Just, just to be occupied. Oh man. This is also Castile, isn't it? No, it is not. Are you kidding me? No, no, it's a colony under Castile. Interesting. Transfer straight to Castile. Has a truce with Gumba. Supporting independence. Well, that's not going to happen. But I would really like to take all of that as well. Damn, there's so much I want to take. Also, this guy is getting really short. Really small, actually. He's still allied. Vassalization. Distance between borders. Hmm... If we get closer, we can actually vassalize him and just force feed the entire Indias to him. I think that would be not too bad. Okay, we're making a lot of money again. Who is this guy? Are we still building up against you? Um, I don't think I want to. Stop doing that. Uh, do we actually wait? Cancel that. Can we get claims? I don't think so, because this guy... Uh, Jolof, who are we of course not fighting, will have to fight afterwards. We do have a claim upon you. If I... Actually, he is at war. Really now? Yeah, of course, it's the main main war goal, you dumb dumb. We do have to take this. Of course, there are new rebels. Now, there's also one thing that I... I was watching Andrail, also a e for streamer and YouTuber, and he showed us something that was actually quite interesting in getting... Autonomy. And I really felt that that's something that was worth a shot to actually try. So if you are having like these lower at of increased autonomy guys, the British uh, fellas over here who actually have 71. Look at that. It's insane. If we handle them, we accept demands that will increase the influence of the burger. So I would actually like to hold on until we can actually get rid of some of these things. So... It doesn't really tell me when I can actually get rid of that. Hmm. 37. Damn, I hope not. That would be way too long. Okay, I'll, I'll wait until it is somewhere in the region of 50. If it's still not there, we'll accept the autonomy increase. And we'll save up a lot of admin. It's that we're just going to be force-feeding this into our vessel over here, Mali. That I will just allow it. Let's take this back. Uh, we're now in one war. Let's get to our other troops. Who, by the look of it, are still on the move. So, once they're all there, we start drilling again. We will. And slowly we're focusing more on the missions. There you go. Let's just start drilling. 
And you, actually that is you. You are now over there as well. Start drilling. Uh, of course, your mercenaries cannot drill. That is a shame. But it is what it is. We also want to start investing more in our trade companies, which are, well, somewhat... Uh, I kind of neglected them. And it, it's bad. It is bad. Also, 73. What, why is that? Uh, because we lost a crap ton of ships over here. The flagship is gone. Ah, oh, damn you, dumbass. I've lost so many ships. Okay, let's get started on a flagship again. Uh, actually, that's the wrong button. Uh, build flagship here in Norfolk. Um, no. <laughs> Centurion. Yeah, sure, why not? I still want it to be heavy. Trade per fleet. Um, movement speed. On and off ships. I think that's nice. Oh no, actually no, it's the other one. Ship movement speed, fleet movement speed, and fleet morale. Is there anything better than a fleet morale? Could get at more cannons, fleet engagement. Uh, fleet blockade impact on siege. Well, this is just a light fleet. Eventually I will add a few heavies. Just to keep them safe. Heavies are absolutely great, but they lower the speed of these fleets quite, quite a bit. So, we got a bunch of cash, and I'm very sure we can act. Oh, yeah, we can actually add a lot of ships. Okay, before we do this, we have 18 heavies over here. And... Mm, let's start adding them to 25 slowly. We'll just increase that number over time. We've got enough transports for now. Let us get this fella and just go mental on the lights over here. There we go. All of those can be built. Uh, your imports over there. Um, he has a fleet in here and it's it's just transports, which is, you know, not a big deal. Actually, the, the best option here would be, uh, that's 37, 39, 39. Oh, come on, there has to be something I can land my trips in without taking attrition note. It is, it is not possible. Eventually, we just have to accept more cultures as well. Um, that's over here, though. We can add one more. I'm not sure if I should add these, though. I want the Danish in here. That's weird. Oh, actually, there is the Danish... Uh, and the Norwegians. So that's 1%. That is not enough to do, actually. Actually, take that on. Don't need that. He is collecting still. He will collect a lot more. Uh, we'll have to get this fleet in with our trade fleet the second this stops. We're not mothballing it anymore. And we're still making a crap ton of money, which is absolutely, absolutely great. Let's take a look over here. Make sure you transfer all of that, please. Uh, Marley is not liking us, which is his own problem. I don't care about that. Okay, let's go back over here. Marley. Um, do we already have a claim over there? Uh, is there a particular reason why I can't take this? Okay. Quite simple. Because we're at war. So, this entire building up spy network is not going to help me at all. Also... We do need to build up on Castile. There was another thing. I already am starting to forget. Which is problematic. Should not do that. Let's think. Mm. Oh yeah, Marley, of course. I need to improve relations with him. Um, let's make sure we do this. Uh, dynasty actions. I don't think I can do that, actually. No, the faith does not allow us to do this. So, right now, what we're going to be doing... Is relations improve? Ah, oh, damn, I always misclick that. Improve this relations. There we go. So, can I actually force religion upon him? No. That's a bloody shame. Let's go on siege. Everyone on siege there. Uh, we'll just continue over here. Let's spread set and give that to Marley as well. He's going to explode. He doesn't know it yet. Let's go take our forces over there. Do we have the force march yet? Can? Yeah, they do. Awesome. Awesome. Love that. It will take me a military point. 
definitely worth it for him here. I want to finish this war up really soon. And fighting these guys is going to be quite important. Let's make sure that we try to catch them. He's moving over there. Is there going to be a fight? No, there is. Will they... No, of course not. They won't reinforce that because they just don't have time for it. You're going over there. Let's... Oh, yeah, that's going to be lovely. That's going to be a nice war. There we go. And we'll send you... There we go. Send you over there. Let's take that siege. They're all drilling now. That's great. A peace offer from Jolo. No, thank you. I'll be my own judge about that. Don't need it. I'll go a bit slower. So, let us take a look. How many troops do we still have? And how many can we still make? About 10. One is still going to be made. Do we have enough cannons over here? 20. 20. Yeah, of course you don't have any. Uh, you can still be built into a good size army. Force limit of 41 over here. So if we can just add 10 over here. And we can actually go up to a force limit of 40 in this region. So we'll save up a tiny bit more. Let's go back to this fight. Um, he should actually have to deal with those. It's annoying that I have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But that's the problem with, uh, I think, rebels. Or actually with mercenaries. We can't split them anymore. It used to be so good. It used to be so incredibly, incredibly good. But I understand they changed it, though. Local goods, pursuits, modify. Of course, of course they do. Should we start building this army up? Let's see. Got two more calf. Okay, so we'll just wait until those are constructed. So one and two. So that would, that would be three. Yeah, that's really difficult counting, right? <laughs> Let's get those out. Love being native. Let's get a cannon in there. We get a cannon in there. How many cannons are we now building? Why don't you show what you're building, mate? Weird. Oh, well. We'll just give it a... The infantry is is really... It doesn't take too long. Land maintenance modifier will be increased. But the drill modifier will be increased. Let's take a look here. Supply depots. And we're slowly increasing all of that. I really like that we finally hit salaried soldiers. And there's a revolt here from some separatists. Which we are, of course are not going to deal with. Let's take a look if actually Mexico... That's Colombia. Mexico. You cannot. British Mexico is at war. Okay, of course you are. It's a shame that we've called every one of those in. Sometimes it's just easier if they were not in there. British Louisiana is like a boss. Look at that. It's expanding like crazy. Uh, the 13 colonies are about to get all of that as well. It's quite a shame that Holland actually has this region. So, in the next war with Holland, we'll take as much away from him as possible. Uh, Flanders is here, who is actually, I believe, my ally. Are you my ally? Let's see. Yeah, you are. We could improve, but, eh, you know, it's not really needed. Shall we take the modifier here? Actually, we, I, I kind of want to do this. The drill army would be quite nice. And I don't, don't want to lose this. So, let's... Take that off. Uh, we're still building up influence ideas. Are we focusing on it? Uh, we're, uh, we're, we are focusing on it. But he's level 1. We cannot upgrade him. Is anyone better? Ah, not really, no. Not really, no. So, come on. Can we actually... Yeah, we'll transfer all these uh, provinces later. It, it, it's just doing that all the time. is just tedious. Let us start building up against Castile. Okay, Tudor is going to be in here. And he is also a Tudor. Is there no way that I can, you know, bring this to my advantage? Hey, Wenek, how are you doing, buddy? Proclaim guarantee. 
Ah, uh, I don't think so. Claim throne. You can only claim a throne if you have a royal marriage. Can we? They must not have a legitimate heir. Ah, oh, damn it. Or a weak claim. Oh, so that's how it works. Oh, that feels so stupid. Uh, loyalties, but army tradition. I kind of don't want to drop my army traditions. They did royal marriage me. I, I don't... I don't uh, damn, that means I have a truce with them, don't I? Let's wait until he's back. Until the 19. I can't claim this throne, which is bloody, bloody unfortunate. He is 18. Bomifia. If I can royal marriage him, it would be great. But I have to... You know, maybe just France. Go against France again. If this war is not going to be good for us. Let's see. How is this one doing, actually? You guys are still seizing that down. Damn. Takes forever, dude. Takes bloody forever. So the 19th over there. Let's go back to Castile. Let's take a look here. Is there anything I can do? If I declare war upon you now, we have a royal marriage. Damn. Okay, so maybe that was not the... Let's see, colonial war. Okay, I guess we'll go against friends then. Meaning these guys can just go... I can't drill in in, in, in other regions. I'm going to ignore you, Wenek. Um, Let's see. If we declare war here, it's a lot less. Savoy is not willing to come in because we have already so many multiple wars. We want this war to finish. So let's continue over here. Maybe we should turn this off. Too many diplomatic relations. Ah, of course, yeah, the royal marriage. But wouldn't it be great if we still got it? Wouldn't that be great? France is a really, really young, young heir, a young king. So, not yet an air yet. Okay, so we're building up over here. Okay. How many... I don't understand. Why do... We... Let's take a look here. We're currently making... Six ships over there, three over there. That makes no sense. Is this the only two reason, uh, regions where I can actually build that up? Oh, yeah. I think I know what happens. Okay, we got a 322, which is absolutely horrible. Let's call him Alfred. Hmm. Strong claim, though. He's 40. Uh, okay, I guess it is what it is. Okay, let's just add 19 and 4. At least that's going to be enough. Let's build that up. Um, 19, 4, and 15. I think this is going over 30, isn't it? Wait a minute. I need to learn how to count. 15 and 15 would be 30. So this is definitely going over... Hmm. Let's get rid of those. There are regiments that are going to be constructed in here. Okay, we'll cancel those. Because I apparently did not learn how to count. Actually, we're going to 40, didn't I? Yeah, I'm a dum-dum. It's fine. Let's go over here. This siege is still going on. That's just awful. That is just awful. And I would like to get these guys at least back. So many bloody rebels. Okay, he's finally happy. Uh, once these forts fall, that is the, the best area. Actually, we should go back. Kill these rebels. There we go. Move on them. I will kill the rebels, and hopefully my ally could be more interested in defending this region instead of going on a 40, which he cannot take forever. Maybe we, we should piece this out. We'll just get all of this back and we'll piece it out. Oh no, so you do not disappear on me. I will not have it. Yeah, that's really low morale. Look at that. That was when we were fighting friends. It was the same. Uh, France was just absolutely a beast. Actually, we'll take this back and then we go there. I don't care that he's fighting rebels. 